Hey, I'm on vacation. So I got myself a sun hat and then he just got me a coffee. I would have vlogged me and him in the Uber, him and I in the Uber, but it was kind of awkward because the man was like really silent. It was a little awkward, wasn't it? And then we found out that he couldn't speak English very well, so that's why he was silent. And I kind of felt bad, but oh well. Okay, I want to clarify something. When I said I kind of felt bad, I, I wasn't rude or anything, but in my head I was like, is this like a normal Uber ride? Like, what the heck's going on? And then it happened again, and the other man couldn't speak English as well. And I wasn't being rude or anything. I just kind of like sat back there in silence too. But in my head, because I had never been in an Uber, I was like, this is a little awkward. So I just want to like clarify, I wasn't being mean to the guy. I didn't say anything. I didn't look at him weird. I, I just felt bad because in my mind, I was like, damn, what? Okay guys, so my boyfriend is actually outside of the hotel right now because he's waiting on our DoorDash order. Um, today we really didn't do like too too much of like beach things or whatever. Um, we went to a couple restaurants. I got a beach hat, which I will show you tomorrow. And we just kind of like looked around, kind of snacked around all day. Um, we did a little bit of sightseeing, but we came back to the hotel a couple times just to like rest and stuff tomorrow we will be having like a full beach day though and it'll be super fun today was fun too but it was more like a chill day because we just got in today which you would have already seen the road trip vlog before this video was out uh so sorry if it's like a little slow paced at first but as far as right now we are okay, about to guys go find the mess in the bathroom but he's going to be wearing these and i'm wearing this bikini to go to the jacuzzi so yeah we will see you when we get there i would have pulled out my phone but a family was talking to us and when i did pull out my phone to try to talk to you guys the husband just kept on looking at me weird so i just okay, so i'm on vacation Obviously, I'm in the point of my vacation where I don't really want to leave. Also, we had to get me this beach hat yesterday, which I told you I would show you today. Um, and I like it. She's cute. And also, like, if the wind picks up, look what it does. It just flies back there. And also, I was wearing a really cute dress yesterday, and this was, like, on the back of it. And it just, like, was the icing on the cake. So, I officially have a beach hat. Pretty cute. And we are going to be going to the beach in like five minutes or something. First, we have to stop by Walmart to get a couple of snacks and a cooler and put like drinks in there and stuff. Um, but yeah, we have all matching bathing suits. So in the last bikini haul I did, which I will link down in the description for you guys, I said that they were for me because I wasn't really ready to like come out and be like, yeah, I'm with someone um not in a bad way or anything but i wanted to make sure first you know that i was like truly sorry i thought i saw a spider i wanted to make sure that i truly like was ready for it before i said anything so yeah that's why i didn't tell you those were his in the first place also you guys i just noticed and he just came in so i didn't want to like continue talking while he came in um, this says it is up to 50, it's like UPF is 50 plus protection, so I think that's good. Um, yeah, I'm not wearing any makeup today, 
and I was in the hot tub last night. I filmed some of it for you guys, but the fam like there was a family next to us who were talking to us, and I just don't want to be rude or weird. And every time I would film, the husband would just kind of like look at me like, "What is she doing?" Um, yeah, and I don't really tell people on the street what I do, so. Um, plus, it's like I'm like a tiny person, like tiny community full of you guys. Oh my god, I'm almost at 3,000, you guys. Wait, let me even check. Hold on. This part of the video, I am at 292,979 subscribers, which is freaking crazy. So all I need is like, I think 30 more, and then I will be at 3,000, which I'm so thankful for. So if you've been here for a really long time or if you just joined thank you so much because honestly it's kind of a vibe now i'm not wearing this i'm not wearing this to my like to the beach uh, i'm just wearing it for now because we got to go into walmart and there's like some places here where it's like if you don't have a shirt or shoes you can't come in so i'm gonna just put this in my beach bag after walmart because i think that walmart's a little picky here um i don't no, that's why I'm wearing it. And I'm going to show you how cute our bathing suits look together once he is done. Baby, are you done? He's busy right now. Okay, yeah, that bathing suit. So basically, this is his. And then I'll show you mine. Let me, let me pull up this. And then this is mine, so we're matching. You're gonna see it better at the beach, but I wanted to tell you guys now because it's a little vloggy. So yeah, there he is. And here I am. Oh my God, my hair looks crazy, but I'm not gonna even touch it because we're going to the beach. So you guys, so basically like I can't really do anything in this hotel and like I can't drink or anything right now, obviously. So I did garden beforehand um also gardening is just like helped me so much recently i'm not on any medication from doctors anymore well other than my like kidney medicine but that's that and like i don't have to have like zoloft or any of those mental health medications and really with my autoimmune disease it hasn't really acted up since i've been gardening um so yeah, I really love the benefits of that. And yeah, I'm just gonna have a good day. <laughs> and you guys are gonna come along. And if I'm acting a little weird or like quiet, it's because of that. So yeah. I didn't like this. He literally went in and he was like, Oh, I got you the glass coke that you like. Because he knows that I like glass cokes. So I didn't tell him. He literally just knows it. Because he pays attention. So, for all you men out there, pay attention to your woman's needs. Look at what she's eating. Look at what she's drinking. And then just go from there. Um, I, I like the Mexican, like, Cokes. And he found me one. Is it love, you guys? No, I'm just messing with you. Um, and he also won't go in again and ask about the freaking lid now he's in there right now because he forgot something i was like well take the coke in there and ask about a lid he's like no and he literally freaking tried to drop it on cement and like not drop it but like open the lid on cement <laughs> and i'm like dude just go in and ask if they have a, like a lid or a lid opener thing you know and he was like i'm not doing that so why are men like that because i need this off and i don't know how to get it off um and he doesn't know either but instead of actually asking for help like he should he's like i got it i'm a man look at this man it took him an hour but he got it he finally got it without asking for help I have, if i had a lighter i just could have popped it off so i want to clarify something i know there's an open container in the front seat that's not mine it is his, but it's from, like, the night before at the hotel. He just put it back in his car to throw it away. 
um, because he had left it at the jacuzzi, and we had to go back to the car to get, like, the rest of our bags out, and he was like, well, I'll just put it in here and throw it away tomorrow, so we forgot to throw it away before we started driving, um, which probably wasn't the smartest thing, but he wasn't drinking and driving, no one was drinking underage or anything like that, so, yeah. update you guys we spent over an hour trying to find parking at the beach we can't find it you know your why when you have to have three different types of sunscreen to put on because the spray one just isn't enough yeah burns super duper easy so i have to have a face and neck one and a lip one and then have the spray sunscreen for my body and then sometimes that doesn't even work because I will still burn so you're fuzzy because you're in a screen thing, a screen protector Hello. Okay, you guys, you can't really see what we're doing right now, but I'm getting some sand for my parents in like two bottles. And then I'm gonna fill it with like a seashell or two. And what's the time in the day? Because Dal wants to know that. May 26, 135. May 26, 135. And then I have found a little seashell already. It's really, really little. And we're gonna dump that one in there already. And we will dump more as the day goes on. And I'm gonna do mom's too. So, yeah.
you guys we actually freaking made it to 3k before this video's out so thank you guys so much for that i can't believe it Hello you guys, we are about to leave the hotel and then go to Bush Gardens, which is literally, you know, you can do it, which is literally right off the interstate. Okay, so we went on like four rides already. Three, four. Four. I would have recorded the last one, but like there was a lot of people talking and I didn't know. It was like a water ride. We kind of got a little wet, but not too bad. And now we are going to, I don't know where we're going to. Where are we going to? We're just going to see basically where we're going to because. I'm like, what is this thing? that's This is what a shirt says, you guys. I bought it. Yeah, I did. Anyways. <clears throat> she shorted and stepped back after she read it, didn't she? Huh? She shorted and stepped back after she read it, didn't she? Exactly. He won me a prize. Well, I paid for it, but he won it. Because, I don't know. I got the one in and then I couldn't get the other ones and I was like, why don't you just do this? So, got this. What is this called? Swirls. Pokemon. What he said. Largest, but they also have one of the strongest beaks. So they're able to crack open seeds and nuts and fruits that other parrot species can't.
Well, you guys, I haven't talked to you in a long time. I threw up on a ride. Literally puked all over it. And um, I'm puking in the car as we speak. I'm not going to show you, but you can see. And I had to change. I was puking my hair. It's literally everywhere. But he was really nice. And he actually just helped me. Like, he literally did all the cleaning of me. Like, it was all over me. And I even got some on him, which is embarrassing. But he said it was okay. That, like, everyone does it. Not everyone, but, like, what did you say? So, some, there was more than just me that today that puked on the ride, right? Yeah. yeah. So, I think that I just did too much with my autoimmune disease because with lupus, it attacks in the sun. Like, when you're in the sun a lot more, it'll attack a lot worse. And I've been in the sun for the past, like, three or four days all day long. So, I kind of knew this was going to happen. But I was like, eh, I'll tough it out. It'll go away. Autoimmune diseases do not go away. Do not test that theory. Take breaks. Do all the stuff you need to do. Because it's not good. It's not good. Okay, I'm going to go and I guess I'm going to start vlogging for the road trip. I don't really know if I'm going to fill up to it because I just took two adrenamines. So I'm probably going to be out. Like a light in a minute. Um, yeah, I'm getting nauseated again, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop before I puke, so bye.